Well, today was a pretty good day, and according to the Fitbit, climbed 44 flights of stairs, went over 4.71 miles, burned 4,817 calories. There's my activity flower. It was higher earlier today during skiing. That's the current time. My next alarm, and I reached my goal of 10,137 steps. So it is an organic LED display. You can see how it's lighting up. And this is just the little belt clap, and you can clip it on your your belt, <laughs> or you can uh, clip it on, uh, I just wear it around a necklace and then it fits tightly underneath my shirt, so yeah, display only stays on for a few seconds, then it remembers the last one you were at, and it stays there unless you click the little button again. <coughs> and you switch through the menus. Now, it, it does say 44 flights. That's actually closer app, to 80 because you go up and down that counts as one. So to your phone or your climbing laptop. the hills uh, at Sundance Ski Resort gave some good numbers today. And that's it. Okay, so I haven't really done this much because I've been asleep. But if I go down, then you click so save. It says one hour, but if I click on more, it still keeps track of how many times you awoke during that time frame. So even if you forget to set the timer, you can adjust the time. When you go to bed, it still so kind of knows actually went to bed last night. movement. Then I go back to my Fitbit, and there's my stat right in the main right screen. around 10.15. The app interface, really easy to use. And then my wake-up time. And it only synchronizes when the app is open. It's right around So 5 if I minimize 30. this, now I'm saving battery. And in case you're wondering how to turn Bluetooth on on the iPhone, just click Settings. I turn the brightness all the way up for videotaping. Bluetooth on. And this is uh, iOS 6. So again, you just open up your Fitbit app in the morning, and it's automatically going to synchronize each time the app is open. So I'm um, pretty active, do you know, 10,000 plus, sometimes 15,000 steps a day, sometimes 20, and uh, I've been using the Fitbit now for over a week, and I've only had to charge it twice, so I charge about it every five to seven days, just like the manual says. I think the uh, more often you're turning the Fitbit on and off, and if you're synchronizing a lot, if you're doing background synchronization, yeah, that's going to that's gonna use up more battery life, of course, on both the Fitbit and your uh, iPhone or Android phone. And then it also synchronizes with the website as well. So keep in mind when you're synchronizing your Fitbit One to your mobile device, it's also going to do a background sync to the website to back up all your data. Uh, another cool feature is you can enter activity. So let's say you were charging your Fitbit or you didn't think it was keeping accurate track of your treadmill run. You can add a treadmill run and then that increases your calorie burn for that day and it also inputs your distance and increases your steps. So it works hand in hand with your regular activities. Uh, you, you can, can also, also keep track of your, your water intake. So you can just click on water. So I've already had a 16-ounce bottle of water this morning. Click Log It. And now, back on that home screen, there's my water input, and there's my weight goal. Now, I already went in and adjusted my weight goal. There's my BMI. Calories burned. I can change my goal. Tweet your progress. Water consumed. There's my food intake. my goal zone based upon how many calories I want to consume and burn each day based upon my activity. 
probably the things that I watch most are the steps throughout the day. And my forest climb. So if I go to yesterday, you can see better numbers. So that was also that also included, even though the steps are low, I mean I was skiing, so it's pretty smooth, so the accelerometer doesn't adjust that, so I input it and uh, it increased my calorie burn quite a bit. So you, you can see my calories burn was almost five thousand, so I burned over a pound of fat yesterday alone. Which was good, because, well, that's life, right? And you can also adjust this main menu. So I can click edit, and if I want to focus on calories burned for that day, you just hold down the bars to the right, and you can move and reorder what's on your screen. And then I want to focus on my number of floors climbed. So again, there you go, click done. And now for my home screen, calories burned is at the top, and then floors, and then steps. There's also the friends integration. Uh, still working on adding some friends. I have three other friends that are now going to buy the Fitbit One after I showed them how awesome it is. And good luck with your exercise and maintaining your fitness level and enjoying life. That's the uh, Fitbit one for today. There's your app icon. And again, there we go. So I'll rate it today and during the night I've burned almost 500 calories. Time in the morning, alarm clocks, number of steps taken, floors climbed. So it looks like I have some work to do today. That's all for now. Kuniru13, signing off.